we greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. I am Pastor Gerald J. Thomas, along with First Lady, the Reverend Luella H. Thomas, of the Grove Baptist Church in Meridian, Georgia. And we want to welcome you to taking the word to the world. We also want to welcome our church family, the Ellen Road Baptist Church family, along with all of our Facebook family and viewers. We ask that you like and share, and also all of our YouTube subscribers. We pray God's richest blessings upon you, and may you continue to support this ministry. We also want to welcome all of you, my brothers and sisters, who may be in penal institutions. We want to let you know that we have a word for you, a word that will strengthen, a word that will give you enduring strength on this Christian journey. We want to thank all of our supporters, local, statewide, and nationally, and we pray that God will continue to bless you and that through this teaching and preaching experience, you will be blessed. Now, if you would, let us go before God's rich throne of grace. Abba. Father, it is in the matchless name of Yeshua. We come humbly today. We come with thanksgiving and we come with praise. And we pray now, Heavenly Master, that you allow the words of my mouth and the meditations of mine heart to be acceptable in thine sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Holy Spirit, permeate the airwaves, heal, deliver, and set free. For it is all in the matchless name of Jesus that we lift this prayer up. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Well, come on, let's put our hands together out there in Cyberland. And let us just give God a great big God bless you all over the land and country. And if God been good to you, amen, give yourself a high five. Amen. God, God bless you all. Well, welcome to this time, amen, of teaching and preaching the word of God. You know, my brothers and sisters, it's almost half of the year has passed. As a matter of fact, we're in the end of the fifth month of the year, the month of grace, the month of productivity, the month of blessing, and the month of miracles. We have been through, as a people, a great deal in the last year and four months. We have been through some difficult times. Amen. But God has seen us through. We went through Passover and Easter, and God yet saw us through. We progressed and prospered through the 50 days leading into Pentecost, and Pentecost came on last Sunday, as we all know, and now we are in the season of miracles and blessings. And God told me to tell you, let the glory come in. Amen. Allow the glory of God to shine on you. Allow the glory of God to lighten up your darkened past. Allow the glory of God to walk with you through the troubles and through the doubts and whatever you might be going through. The manifestation of the glory of God is here. Now, brothers and sisters, we're beginning right now to begin teaching in a series of the renewed vision. You know, 2020, we talked about 2020 vision being able to see and to see well. Well, one thing about it, we can have great physical sight, but what about our spiritual sight? You know, God is working on us, and God has a plan for us. Amen. I, I had the, the opportunity to visit an ophthalmologist, optometrist, on last week, and I was just sitting there observing as they were talking about the conditions of eyesight. 
And one reason why we go to these optometrists is, is to have our vision checked. That's the physical vision that we have checked. And they run eye charts and, and this, and they, they measure your vision, whether it's 2020 or 2025 or 2030 or 2100. And by the time you are completed with your testing, you will know whether or not your sight is good or bad. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, Pastor got a spiritual eye examination Amen. for us tonight. Amen. On this august occasion, God is sharpening our spiritual vision. Amen. Help me, Holy Amen. Ghost. He stated in the word of God in Habakkuk, the second chapter, amen, and verse number two, he made it very plain through the prophet Habakkuk. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk stated in the second verse, he said, then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tablets. Sometimes, you know, brothers and sisters, when you're trying to get things together in your life and you have a full conclusion of what you are trying to accomplish, sometimes and most times it is, you, it is a must that you write down what God has placed into your spirit. Amen. Why do you say that, Pastor? So many times God has blessed us with spiritual vision, uh -huh. with visions and, and dreams, and because we thought that we could maintain it uh -huh. until daybreak uh -huh. and remember what God said uh -huh. to your neighbor, the devil is a liar, yeah, amen, yeah. because Satan will come in uh -huh. in the midst of morning and night uh -huh. and steal amen. your vision. Amen. He will steal your dream. Yeah. He will steal it all from you. And by the time that you are awakened mm -hmm. and in a position and you're trying to remember That's what right. God said, mm -hmm. amen, because you didn't get up when God woke you up amen. with the dream, with the vision, mm -hmm. amen, you missed it. Amen. So now, on this teaching lesson, we're going to work on how we're going to renew our vision, mm -hmm. how we're going to recommit ourselves, mm -hmm. and how we're going to live, amen, a new vision mm -hmm. in 2021. Mm -hmm. Just look to your neighbor and tell them, I got a new vision for 2021. Vision, vision. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's not like what it used to be. Mm -hmm. The A part in the third verse of Abaca 2 Amen. And the eighth part of that verse, look what the prophet states. He says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Uh -huh. Get this and make it plain. Amen. This vision that God has given you, God never gives you everything at one time. Uh -huh. God will most time give you increments uh -huh on what he wants you to do mm -hmm. and give you a time and a season mm -hmm. to complete it. Amen. That's why it is so important, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. when you got a vision, Amen. when you have a dream, mm -hmm. when God has blessed you with insight, yes. that you got to put it to yes. work. You cannot keep procrastinating Amen. and making Amen. time and excuses uh -huh. that what you're going to do Amen. and you never get it accomplished. Amen. You Amen. become no as a quitter mm -hmm. or an underachiever yes. because you're not yes. using uh -huh. the power uh -huh. nor the gift yes. that God uh -huh. has blessed yes. you yes. with. Yes. God tells you, amen, yet for it is only for an appointed time. Mm -hmm. It's not going to last but forever. Amen. I got a question I want to ask uh -huh. you out there in Cyberland. Mm -hmm. uh, ty type in just, just for a minute. It, it won't last forever. It won't last forever. Yes. Amen. Now, now, let's look at the question that I got for you this evening. Do you have good, bad, or no vision in your life with God? What kind of vision do you have with God? Has God ever given you a vision? Have God ever just 
spoke to you in any kind of way, you got to examine yourself. Because, amen, if you cannot see, mm -hmm. amen, God speaking to you, mm -hmm. if you cannot hear God speaking to you, mm -hmm. you got to get in line and get your ears and your eyes open because God is trying to orchestrate and direct yes. your path. Amen. The word of God said in all thy ways, yes. everything yes. that you go about with God, yes. acknowledge him, uh -huh. right? And he yes. shall direct yes. your path. Yes. What are you saying, Pastor? Mm -hmm. Get into a conversation with God. Yes. Tell God all about yes. it. And when you begin to speak to God uh -huh. about where you're going yes. and what you need to do, uh -huh. God will begin uh -huh. to guide your footsteps. Yes. Tell your neighbor, I need him to guide I me. Type that in. I need him to guide yes. me tonight. Yes. I need him to direct my path. Uh -huh. Look what it says here now. You, you know, a lot of times we talk about vision, but vision, amen, it, the, the, one of the five senses is sight. And vision, amen, is the sense of sight. Sight, being able to see. The power, and this is what vision is all about, the power to perceive by imagination. Don't you know many great men and women have, have accomplished their goals. Why? Because they, they imagined it. They saw it. They saw themselves walking through it, mm -hmm. going to it, mm -hmm. accomplishing the goal and the vision mm -hmm. that they had set before them. Mm -hmm. Even though they did not see the bumps and the crooks yes. and, and the and the things, the hindrances right. that were going to come. Uh -huh. But they saw themselves uh -huh. Following yes. through, yes. walking yes. it through, yes. never being a quitter, Amen. holding on Amen. to God's unchanging Amen. hand, Amen. seeing themselves yes. as an overcomer. Yes. Because yes. God said in his word yes. that we are yes. more yes. than conquerors. Yes. We can handle anything, anything. when God yes. is on our side. Amen. Tell your neighbor, check your vision, check, check your, your vision, vision. Check, check your vision. vision. If you haven't been speaking with God lately, you need to examine yourself. Yes. If you are professing to be a believer in the living God and you have the love of God mm -hmm. in your heart, yes. then there ought to be a daily conversation. Yes. Don't allow Satan uh -huh. to steal Amen. from you what God Amen. is trying to work through you. Amen, Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise Amen. tonight. Amen. 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 You, you, you know, vision Amen, is something you can see in your heart. You can see it in your heart, in your spirit, mm -hmm. but it has not yet physically manifested. How many of you now who are in college, mm -hmm. amen, can you see yourself yes. in the next stage, mm -hmm. stepping into your career? Mm -hmm. Many of you who are examining your lives now and looking at your next move, mm -hmm. can you imagine seeing yourself mm -hmm. in the next position mm -hmm. that you are headed for? Yes. Pastors, uh -huh. can you see yourself uh -huh. walking with God, yes. living with God, uh -huh. speaking to God, yes. and God Amen. bringing to pass yes. the yes. vision Amen. that he has placed in yes. your heart yes. to be the soul winner yes. that he has called you to be? Amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise out there. Somebody need to give him a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, so it, it is something that has not yet manifested but it's coming. it's coming. Just turn to your neighbor and say, it's coming. It's coming. My dream My is dream. coming. My dream is yes. coming. Amen. My vision is coming uh -huh. to pass. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. Never undersell yourself. Amen. Always think highly Amen. of yourself. Amen. Because brothers and sisters, if you don't think that you can make That's it, right. who do you think or believe that you can make it? Amen. Come on now. Amen. Stand up on it. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to stand up on it. I'm going to have some confidence. Yes. I'm going to walk by faith, yes. not by sight. Yes. I'm going to hold up. I don't care what my peers say about yes. me. And I'm talking to you, young people, yes. because when you begin to progress mm -hmm. and follow the vision that mm -hmm. God has given you, mm -hmm. The old lookers, the haters, yes. they're going to come and try to detract from you uh -huh. and discourage you. Right. But don't pay that any attention. Amen. Walk with God. Amen. Talk with God. Amen. Hold 
Come on, God's unchanging hand and watch God work it out for you. Look what he says here in Proverbs, the 29th chapter, and verse number 18. Brothers and sisters, how many of you got a plan? Do you have a good plan, a God plan? Do you have a plan that can overcome any hindrances, anything that might try to deter you or move you away from the vision that you've had? Well, I want to tell you something. Look what the writer in Proverbs 29 and 18 states. Uh -huh. Look what he said. Where there is no vision. Ah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh -huh. Is your relationship, is your vision good, bad with God? What, what is it? Uh -huh. Because a person without a vision, uh -huh. do you know anybody like that? Have you, have you been around anyone like that? Well, I want to tell you, if you're going somewhere in life and you are hanging around folk who has no vision, it's okay to visit, but it ain't good to linger. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, I'm talking to you who all are graduating now. You got to watch the crew that you're hanging with. You that have gotten out of college now and you're headed, watch the crowd you get involved with because God has a purpose for you. Do, do you know your purpose or not? Look what he says here now. Amen. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. You have impaired vision. You cannot see without God opening up your eyes, taking the scales off your eyes. You, you remember when, when, when Paul, amen, got knocked off his beast, uh -huh. amen, uh -huh. amen, and he saw, he heard God speak Speaking. from heaven, uh -huh. amen, he was blinded by the light. Yeah. I come to tell you, it's a lot of us blinded yeah. and don't know that we are blind. Oh Paul was blinded, uh -huh. amen, for three days, Paul was blinded, amen. but when God put his hands yes. on him, yes. to the man of God, yes. Ananias, yes. let me tell you something. The scales yeah. fell from his eye. Yeah. Some of you have scales on ah, your eye. I was God. watching the cataract. The cataract yeah. is like a scale. Ah. It covers us a film over the eye yes. that, bro that blocks the vision. Uh -huh. A lot of us are walking around uh -huh. with scaled eyes, oh, can't God. see my what God, God yeah. is doing. My we God. always talk about what he's yeah. not doing, uh -huh. but let's talk about well, what he is yeah, doing. Man. He's been my burden bearer. Well, yes, he been my way maker. Yes. He brought me through yes, some sir. treacherous times. He has been my friend. Yes. He has stuck to me Hallelujah. closer than a brother. Yes. Oh, God, I'm going to get me preaching with God. God is an awesome God. Yes, he is. And God was, see, watch your vision. When your vision begins to get impaired mm -hmm. and you are not seeing clearly, mm -hmm. you need to come back to God. You need to get on your face mm -hmm. before God. Mm -hmm. God. You know, uh, a sidebar here, one man that heard God and he walked with it wasn't perfect, mm -hmm. but he heard God, he saw the vision, and he walked in it. Abram, you remember Abram, amen. in the 12th chapter of Genesis, mm -hmm. amen, God spoke to Abram from amen. a well-to-do family. Yes. Abram had it going on, but Abram didn't have God in his life. Y'all going to talk to Amen. me here? Amen. 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 But God Amen. spoke to him. Amen. And I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, when God show up in your life yes. and yes. God let you see the vision yes. that he has for you, uh -huh. oh, brothers oh, and yes. sisters, Lord. I can tell you right now, uh -huh. you'll surrender all yes. to follow him. Amen. Abram left his kinfolk. Yes, he he left his mama uh -huh. and his daddy yes. and all his yes. family members. Yes. But he took Amen. Lot, his wife, and a few servants. Yes. And they walked with God because God had a vision yes. for him. Yes. God told him, uh -huh. I'll make you the father of yes. many nations. Yes. And what I want you to see here, even when God gives you a vision, uh -huh. you're not going to be perfect. Right. You're not going to do everything Amen. right. Abram lied yes. about his wife. Right. Amen. And the king took his wife. Uh -huh. Amen. But God Amen. is so powerful. Yes. When God has a vision for you, uh -huh. know this, no, no weapon. weapon. 
that is formed to God. Oh, they can lie on you. Oh, they yeah. can set traps for you. Yeah. They can try to undermine you. Yes, they can Lord. come at you every way. Yeah. But know this, yeah. when the vision is clear yeah. and when the vision is plain, yeah. no weapon, no weapon. Type in no weapon, no weapon that is formed against me uh -huh. shall prosper. Uh -huh. Yes, Abram walked with it. Uh -huh. Abram went with it. He made some mistakes, yes, he but he knew the vision. He followed the vision mm -hmm. so much and so closely uh -huh. that when he brought his son, uh -huh. amen, Isaac, and yes. put him on the altar yes. and was ready to follow through my with God. the sacrificial offering, uh -huh. God uh -huh. said, this is my beloved Hallelujah, son. Jesus. Hold up. Hold up, Abram. There's a ram in the bush when you follow God. Yes. And look what happened. Uh -huh. Amen. Abram became Abraham, uh -huh. the father of many nations, yes. the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. 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 The father of the Arab uh -huh. nation. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't going to talk to him, yes. man. He's yes. the father of them all. Yes. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise. Now, look God. what God tell you now. If you're going to walk with me, let's look at Matthew, the 28th chapter, and verse number 19. Now, when you come into the vision of God, you know God has touched my heart. And you know he was telling me, soul winning is your calling. That's what I'm concerned about. Brothers and sisters, it's not about how well you can preach. Or you can teach how good you look, how you sound, what you smell like. But the end result is, is any lives being changed, any souls being saved, uh -huh. anybody being delivered, yeah. anybody being healed, yeah. anybody being set free, Amen. anybody being placed on the right uh -huh. path. When you become a servant of God, yeah. these are the things that touch your heart. Uh -huh. The gospel uh -huh. according to... Amen. To Matthew, mm -hmm. the 28th chapter, and verse number 19, Jesus wants you to be a witness. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you have to have a Bible and a cross, but you have to have the word. If you're saved and you're sanctified, take the word and witness to people. Amen. Look what it says here. Therefore, mm -hmm. go. therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Mm -hmm. In other words, don't get caught up in the racial thing mm -hmm. of all nations, Amen. of all nations, mm -hmm. black man, white man, red man, mm -hmm. whoever they are, oh. who rich, poor, mm -hmm. whoever you come in mm -hmm. contact with that does not know the Lord, yes. there is a way that you can tell them mm -hmm. that the wages sin. of sin yes. is death mm -hmm. and death eternal in hell. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you lift up your eyes, mm -hmm. if you have not yet yes. received uh -huh. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as Lord and Savior, Amen. be a witness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. Just your lifestyle right. will be the witness. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run around like you're a holy Amen. woman, blah, 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 blah. Hey, mm -hmm. sometimes just the way you live Amen. around your brothers and sisters, uh -huh. they will already know uh -huh. that you are saved, Amen. that you are sanctified, Hallelujah. and that you are spirit free. Yes. Look what he says here. Go, therefore, mm -hmm. and make disciples of all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father and of the Son mm -hmm. and of the Holy Ghost. Yes. God wants you to bear witness. Mm -hmm. And brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. more than ever now, this is the time and this is the season mm -hmm. where we as men and women, mm -hmm. boys and girls, mm -hmm. who have been bought with the price, yes. who have been saved from uh -huh. a burning hell, yes. we don't want everybody else yes. going to hell. Yes. You need to tell somebody. Yes. The word of God say, he that wins his soul yes. is wise. Yes. Check your vision. Yes. Check your vision. Yes. Are you seeing good? Yes. Are you seeing bad? How are you seeing? What's your vision now? Mm -hmm. How do both say? So Jesus, amen, reveals to you to be a servant in the kingdom. Look what he says here in Luke 22 and 26. He said, but not so among you, but he that is greatest among you. Now, a lot of us who are high class, got it going on, amen, uh, dealing with six-figure uh, finances and, and, and living condominiums and oceanside and, 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 and driving luxury cars, that does not exempt you 
from becoming a servant or a witness to God. You know, I was amazed. I was, I was spot looking at a program the other day, amen, and I'm looking at these professional athletes who you would never think were Christian men because of the profile that has been laid upon them mm -hmm. as African-American professional athletes. But these men, amen, they, they were not dressed like revival preachers. Mm -hmm. They weren't dressed like they were going, amen, to the next big convocation, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. But they were regular-looking men, tattooed up, braided down, hair blowed out, uh -huh. looking all kind of way. But what was coming out of them? I Amen. Amen. Was enough to bless Amen. a preacher who's been preaching uh, over 35 years. Yes. Hearing them mm -hmm. speaking on that level. Yes. So never look at a Amen. person and Amen. think that they are not Amen. what they're supposed to be. Amen. 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 But we need to do what we are called to yes. be. And yes. when we do what we're supposed uh -huh. to do, then we'll keep it all straight. Yes. Look what he says here. Amen. But let him, amen, to much given. Much is required. Uh, yes. How many of you know that when you are in a high place, mm -hmm. God has elevated you there. God has given you sense above regular people. Mm -hmm. God has given you intelligence mm -hmm. beyond normal folk. Yes. To much given, yes. much yes. is required. Yes. If God bless you with a big salary, yes. you can't go around tied to no hundred dollars. Not me, Holy Ghost. Amen. You got to live mm -hmm. in your level. Yes. God, God, thank you, Britain. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that serves. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're high, when you're up there, my first calling is to serve mankind. Mm -hmm. To serve the present age mm -hmm. is my calling yes. to fulfill. May all my powers engage yes. to do wow. my master's will. And, and that's the joy that I get. Mm -hmm. This joy that I have on the inside of yes, me yes. for serving God surpasses any joy amen. that the world amen. could ever offer. Amen. And the Lord, amen, in my closing, uh -huh. the Lord told me to tell you, amen, you can be a servant, mm -hmm. you can be a witness, mm -hmm. amen. But what I want you to do, uh -huh. amen, I want you to become a giver. Amen. 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 You, you can give not only from your finances, uh -huh. but give to yourself. Amen. Because what you give out it's is what, what you mean. shall receive. Uh -huh. Amen. This is God's law yes. of sowing uh -huh. and reaping. Yes. What you sow out there, if you sow hatred, yes. you're going to get hatred Amen. back. If yes. you sow anger, uh -huh. you're going to get anger back. Whatever you sow, if you sow love, uh -huh. love is going to come back Amen. to you. Oh, y'all know hear me here. And when you sow, uh -huh. if you sow sparingly, yes. you reap sparingly. Yes. But when you sow uh -huh. to your ability yes. and you give to God, uh -huh. I come to tell you. Yes. And then when your vision is straight uh -huh. and you have the renewed vision of yes. 2021, uh -huh. that I'm not going back yes. like I used to be. On, I'm tired of going through the same yes. old thing yes. year after year, yes. following the same old vision yes. I had last year. Yes. Brothers and sisters, uh -huh. it's a new day. It's a, new, it's a day. new time. Um, it's a new season. Yes. Step up and step into yes. it. Stop being the loser. Yes. Come on the winning side. Put the on the sun on and I'm going to say. Luke Back 6 up. and 38. Uh -huh. This is what it said, Brother Davis. Mm. It says, Give, and it shall be given yes. unto you. Mm -hmm. You got to start it off. You know, a lot of folk have been so confused about when church asks you to give. Amen. All we're doing is following the mandate that God has put. No, you can't buy a blessing, mm -hmm. but you can provoke heaven to move yes. when you give to God. Yes. No, God don't need what you're giving Amen. him. It's when you exercise your faith uh -huh. with God. That, that's what God is looking at. Yeah. God isn't looking at the numerical number uh -huh. that you're giving uh -huh. because he showed you when the widow gave her might. Yeah. Amen. He said, this woman uh -huh. has given more uh -huh. than anybody else. Amen. Why? Because she gave yes. her best. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. Whether it's a dollar uh -huh. or $50, yes. give God your, your best. best. Yes. Give, yes. he says, uh -huh. and it shall uh -huh. be given uh -huh. unto who? Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, 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 if you give, uh -huh. amen, uh -huh. it's coming back to you. Uh -huh. and now, now, tell us how it's going to come back, Pastor. Uh -huh. It's going to come back good measure. Good measure. Huh? Uh -huh. You done heard it before. Yeah. Good measure. Uh -huh. But you still don't believe it. Uh -huh. Good measure. Yeah. That's the first thing. Uh -huh. In other words, he's going to always uh -huh. supply your need. Grab the vision. Uh -huh. Grab the vision. Grab the vision. Uh -huh. He's going to always uh -huh. take care uh -huh. of you. Uh -huh. It's not all the time materially. Amen. Amen. Come on, help me here. Amen. It is help. Yes. It's strength. Yes. It's yes. opening doors. Yes. It's yes. blessing your family. Yes. It, it, it's way more. Uh -huh. You just can't put it in a box and say, that's just for me. That's See, right. when you give, uh -huh. it kicks off yes. blessings like all through your family, yes. all through your household, yes. in your ministry, in yes. your career. Yes. When you start doing the things uh -huh. that God has asked you to do, Hallelujah. good measure, press down, press down. Yes. That's another measure. Yes. And shake it together. Shake it together. I, I know you like to shake it together yes. and make sure it all. Th th these are the different levels uh -huh. that God will give to you. And what? Uh -huh. Running over. More uh -huh. than uh -huh. enough. Yes. How many you want more than enough? Yes. Well, get yes. your vision straight yes. now yes. and start walking with God, yes. Yes. talking with God, yes. and living for God. Shaking yes. together Shaking and up. running over. I'm going to even call men to give into your bosom with the same measure. If you gave little, same measure now. Amen. With the Amen. same measure Amen. that you meet out mm -hmm. with them, it shall be measured uh -huh. to you again. Yes. When you give. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. When you give yes, good measure, yes, Lord. press down, Amen. shake it together, running over, he'll call me yes, he to will. give unto you. Yes. God loves you yes. just that much. Uh -huh. And I want you to know in my closing tonight mm -hmm. that Jesus the Christ yes, Lord. died just for you. Uh -huh. Why? Because he loved you yes. so much. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that love hung high yes. and love was stretched wide yes, Lord. and love died yes. out on count just for you and yes, I yes. that upon our confession, mm -hmm. amen, and our faith in God, yes. our vision yes. comes clear. Yes. I heard somebody say, I can see clearly yes. now. Yes. Now that the rain has uh, gone, yes. and brother, rain will come in a yes. season, but you yes. can take the rain yes. and turn it over on your crop yes. and have a super harvest. Yes. Yes. Let the rain Let come. The rain I'm come. ready yes. for my blessing. Yes. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise tonight. I've been in the app, Thomas yes. I've got my service. Uh -huh. I got my right lens now, yes. and I'm ready. Whether it's contact, yes. glasses, imp imprinted limb, or whatever it is, yes. I'm, ready I'm ready to serve the Lord. Why, right, right, Pastor? Uh -huh. Because serving the Lord yes. will pay, pay off. off. Not after a while, right but right on. now. Right Hold on. on. Hold on, body of Christ. Yes. Look to the hill. Come on, Pastor. Come your help. Yes. Knowing all the time okay. that your help coming from the Lord. Yes. Tell the Lord, I yes. need to be able to see the see, glory. See the, glory. the glory is yes. here. The oh, fire Jesus. is here. Oh, Come on and give the Lord a praise yes. and invite the glory. Oh, invite the glory oh, in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to the name God. Hallelujah. Brothers and glory. sisters. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If this message yes. has been a blessing to you, yes. I want to invite you to give your life yes. to Jesus the Christ, the one who hung high yes. and was stretched wide, yes, Lord. the one who died Lord, till heaven yes. got satisfied, yes, but the one who defeated death and the grave yes. and got up on the third day morning all power. with all power yes. in his hand. That's the one yes. that can correct your vision. Yes. That's the one uh -huh. that can change what you're seeing yes. and how you're seeing yes, it. Sir. That's the one yes. that can make everything all, all right. right. How all many of you wanted to be all Lord right tonight? Lord Come on and tell the Lord, I'm walking with I'm you walking. because I can see yes. where you're leading me. Oh, my God. And while we're standing, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, we are praying. Yes. We are praying that the summer quickly come in and school shall be finished. We want to pray for the safety of our school children through the summer because we know that 
There are always ways, so many things that young folk can get into. Mm -hmm. Amen. Supervise your children. Make sure they're supervised. Watch out for them. Summers, summers can be something else. But I guarantee you, when you come back in the fall, you'll be a different person. Amen. So let's pray for the protection of our children. Let's pray that all our children who are graduating from high school, going to college now, we're going to be praying for them. We have, amen, Brother Cameron. We have Jemiah, Xavier. And we're also praying for Sister Taylor as they go to the Collegiate World Series. Amen. And we are praying that God will bless supernaturally. We pray, Xavier, that all things go well for you. Cameron, all things go well for you. Jemiah, all things go well for you. JP, it's time to get back to school. Get ready and hit some heads, all right? Boys and girls, we're happy that you all are doing so well, and we pray that the remainder of all of our children, amen, will be blessed to the utmost. And we're praying for Sister Taylor to at least hit five home runs in the Collegiate World Series, that amen. all things will go well for them. Amen. We're praying for healing, yes. emotional healing. You who have been hurt by families and loved ones, you who have internal digestive problems, amen, those whose eyes need healing. You'd be surprised how many people's eyes need healing, damaged throats and thyroid problems. We are lifting them up, bladder and urinary problems. We are lifting it all up before the Lord. The Lord told me, and that's what I've been praying on today, and the Lord told me to tell you, so into your blessing. You can look on the screen there. And there is your method of how you want to give, whether you want to give a tithe or a seed. We also have our prayer cloths here. You can easily get one of those. Amen. And I guarantee you, those throat diseases, that, that intestinal problem that you're having, lay your hand on it and have faith in God and watch what God will do for you. Now, if you're out of the ark of safety and you need God on your side, I want you to repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Tonight, I've heard your word. I repent of all of my sin. Jesus, I confess you as Lord, Savior of my life. I know that you defeated death and the grave, and you are now seated at the right hand of our Father, which is in heaven, making intercession. Therefore, Therefore, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Brothers and sisters, now we're going to come to the conclusion of our worship experience, and we want to thank God for all of you that have viewed with us, and we look forward to seeing you Saturday back at the church. Amen. We'll be there from 10 to 12. You can Bring your tithe, your offering, amen, and your prayer request. Also, we have a food pantry. If you need any food, you can get it bagged up and have enough uh, non-perishable to carry home with you. Now, my brothers and sisters, we want you to know that the uh, Fifth Sunday Union will be at the Ellen Grove Baptist Church Sunday morning at 11 a.m. We ask that you look forward to seeing us, and we'll be back here next Wednesday, 7.30, live. So, brothers and sisters, as we close now, we want you to know, amen, that if you go with God, God will go with you. If you stay with God, God will stay with you. God bless you, and we'll see you Saturday.